A local hospital is working to keep new mothers and their premature babies under the same roof. New tower at Ascension St. Vincent. News 8's Lake and McGee has the story. That I guess start with what's the construction plan? What's it all about? Yeah, so it's going to be connected to Peyton Manning Children's Hospital on the 86th Street campus. And I did speak with a little girl uh, that says the nursing staff there saved her life and hopes future preemies will get even better care now. Ascension St. Vincent just feels like a second home for me is expanding care. It's going to be the largest NICU in the state for women and children. So Elise was born at 25 weeks and five oh days. Gosh. This is Elise Olson. She's 10 years old and I'm a NICU preemie. Now in fifth grade, she likes to show her classmates just how little she was. It was like pictures of me and my hamper and my feet print. And um, it just said like happy one month old Elise like and then it said one pound 14 ounces and then like everyone was like well you were that tiny and it's like yeah it was that tiny. This was her mom Jessica's first pregnancy. She was diagnosed with severe preeclampsia and was admitted straight to Ascension St. Vincent. The year prior I had lost my mom at the age of 57 and she was my rock, my best friend and so not only was I grieving her loss but then I had this newborn baby that um, we didn't know if she was going to make it or not. And so it was truly a, a trying time. Baby Elise was in the hospital for 106 days and on a ventilator for 37 days. I got to hold her on day 34, which was super memorable. Just felt like a little bird was laying on my chest. Construction is now underway on a new NICU. Soon, this pile of dirt will look like this. I am so excited. Risha Patel is a neonatologist and works closely with new mothers and their preemies. She played an instrumental role in deciding what the new building needed. Things that are useful for families, like having lounges where they can just go have a moment, you know, places to eat, even things for siblings to play with. All of that is so useful. The new $325 million expanded NICU will have 109 private rooms. But before it's built, Elise and Jessica are proud to have spent time in what will be the old NICU, making one last walk through its halls. The relocation of the NICU is moving from Township Line Road to 86th Street. It will be 268,000 square feet when it's finished. Lake and McGee for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.